it's six o'clock in the morning and this is probably going to be my only chance to record this, so I'm just going for it. Our car broke down on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> in theory, I would probably be able to do this repair. I discovered the issue. I said, oof. I called a bunch of mechanics. Most mechanics actually can't even see me for a month, so to be able to get a quote for next week is really a stroke of luck. Based on what they told me, I was like, you know what, I think this is something that I can do. I just need to look at the cost of materials, and I just need the time, and it'd be really tricky to swing it, but I really think I can do this, and it would save us hundreds of dollars. And then I had a panic attack. This is where PTSD is different than typical anxiety. Everything came flooding back from when I was on the streets, and feeling the pressure to repair my vehicle before it gets dark so that I am safe. When I feel pressure that I need to repair my vehicle within a short time frame. Learn a new skill really quick or else. Then that brings back all of my past panic and the panic that I felt with, you're in an unsafe alleyway, you better make sure to put those parts together fast because it's gonna be dark in half an hour. That sort of panic and pressure comes back to me. My subconscious doesn't know how to differentiate between then and now. I haven't had experiences yet where it's like, yeah, I just get to tinker around with the vehicle. You know, all the, all the, <laughs> all the manly man dudes that tell me that it's really easy to repair your vehicle, they've had the luxury of learning on a vehicle when they have days, weeks, just tinker around, just get familiar with it, just, you know, learn the skill. I haven't had that, never had that. All I have for my brain to reference is, if you don't get this done, you might die, you might have your car towed and have no place to live, so then you're on the streets without shelter. You might get attacked. Like, that's what my brain thinks. So, it's sad because I was getting so excited about doing this repair myself. I was like, this is gonna make a great video. Everyone's gonna see how badass I am. Like, I know that I am capable of doing this. And I'm like, I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna prove to myself that I'm capable of doing it. I'm gonna even get it on video. This is gonna be amazing. Even after the panic attack, even after I came out of it, I was like, I can do this. Yes, I might have a few panic attacks as I do it, but I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. I know that I can do it. And then I just kind of had a complete like mental breakdown last night. The way that our lives are right now, our toddler is keeping us up most of the night, every night. And so usually we're only getting a couple hours of sleep during the night. And so then during the day, we're kind of trading off trying to get some sleep. And we're also working part-time. And I'm also trying to, you know, make a good life for my toddler. And so I hadn't had literally two minutes of break. I mean, I came in from trying to fix the car and Literally the second I step in the door, my toddler's like reaching up his arms for me to pick him up and I'm like on the phone with the mechanic and I've got my toddler on my hip looking for a pen and paper. You know, I did not have two minutes to myself. All day. All day. And so I had communicated, I, I need a break. Even when I try to take a break, it's not working, so I'm not even trying anymore. I have to build that trust up again that when I try to take a break, I will actually get a break. And. My husband's like, okay, all right, we'll do this. You can have a break. And it wasn't even two minutes in before that break was interrupted as well. And I kind of lost it. I grabbed a pillow and put it to my face and I just started screaming and screaming and screaming. <laughs> so my husband and I had a long talk, paying $500 to get our car repaired we're gonna have to withdraw from savings. And that scares us. Our lives are not set up to keep withdrawing from savings, and so it always scares us when we have to do it. But 
I had times last night that I was suicidal. And yes, I know the suicide hotline number and I, I'm, there was a mix up between therapists. I'm in the process of getting another therapist, but in theory, I could fix the car, in theory. In theory, we could save a bunch of money, in theory. This is what mental health does. If you have a mental health condition, there's a lot that on paper you can do. There's a lot of possibilities that are options in theory, but in practice, they may as well be a million miles away because we can't risk me trying to fix the car for my own sake. I have more healing to do before that's a healthy option for me. There will be vehicle repairs that I get to do in the future. Any time in the future, I can work on a vehicle for fun and I can develop those skills in a healthier environment and I can retrain my brain. Just right now is not the time. I just wanted to share to remind even just myself and others, this isn't me being lazy. This is me prioritizing myself and my family. And there's a certain strength to that, that I tend to honor in other people, but I really struggle to honor in myself. And something about seeing myself share this journey, it makes it easier for me to recognize my own strength. So I just wanted to share that with you.